history today in Wisconsin. This is history because you are sending a message to the other 56 states. This is history because America is going to be community organized no more. community organizing. That's community organizing out there. I've got a message to the teachers. There's a thing called homeschooling. And the message that you're sending us right now is that, I don't know, I'm willing to teach, I'm willing to homeschool because if what you're doing right now is a lesson you want to teach the American children, I don't want my children to learn that lesson. The people who have our children's heads half of the day. Right now there are doctors out there giving them excuse notes to get out of work. What type of lesson are you sending to children that you're willing to lie? That's the first lesson you don't want your kids to know. That's why so many people homeschool in this country, because they don't trust your moral compass anymore. If this were such a sacrosanct argument, workers' rights, who do you think these people are? These are workers too, and they're the taxpayers. If, if your movement is so sacred, why are anarchists central to it? Why is it that the anarchists did away with burning down Rick Perry's governor's mansion two years ago? Why is it the anarchists get to get away with their organization of trying to bomb the Republican National Convention and the mainstream media doesn't report it, yet the Tea Party is guilty until it proves itself innocent on charges of racism, sexism, homophobia, being anti-gummy bears, being anti-the man on the moon, were inherently evil. Yet in two years, the Tea Party has been the most peaceful, patriotic group. trying to get you to be provoked to do something violent. The only thing they've caught you on tape doing with all these thousands of cameras is picking up after yourselves. <laughs> consider this to be an electronic civil war in which the mainstream media has taken its side. For two years, you've tried to frame the Tea Party as the enemy of the American people. And guess what? We got our message out, and we won in November, and the adults are back in charge. And guess what? Those teenagers who are irresponsible with the credit card are going to have the credit card cut up because we can't afford it anymore. This is history. We are going to let the American people know in every single state that we have every governor and every legislator's back. And I would also like to bring something up again to the mainstream media who's here. For those people who have suffered for being at these events, who have been attacked by the unions like Kenneth Gladney, he will get his justice if the American people demand it in St. Louis. He was there at a rally that reminds me of this rally here. Because when the town hall started to occur in August of 2009, regular Americans started to show up and ask basic questions like, would you please read the bill? And do you know how the unions responded to that in coordination with the White House? On the exact day 
that old people who knew that their Medicare was going to be cut and that, their, that, that, that what the government had promised them was going to be taken away. What happened the exact same day? Jim Messina, the Deputy White House Director, said, you need to get in their face and punch them back twice as hard. That was the same day that the AFL-CIO, John Sweeney President, said, you need to get in their face. And what happened that night in Tampa and St. Louis, union thugs went there and beat people up. And where was the mainstream media and where was the justice for a black man who was called the N-word by, by a member of the SEIU? He was mocked and ridiculed and ignored by the mainstream media. This is why we're here. It's no longer about the mainstream media. We don't need them anymore. Your